And welcome back, everybody. We got another Endless Mode match coming at you. It's X-Water versus Mitch Flower Power this time. I'm Trev Athens. And joining me, not Limcube, but Glitch Cat. It is I. Hello there. Yeah, surprise, I never won. Even, even the, even the restreamer. <laughs> it looks like it's going to be a good match. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm noticing X Water with a high score of 150 on uh, Expert, and Mitch with a high score of zero. And I think that's because he plays Super Expert and has a pretty good high score over there. Yeah, that's true. He may also just be on an alternate account in case, like, I, I know a lot of these players have like really long expert runs that they don't want to they don't want to cut short ah so you know you want to you want to be able to keep that going <laughs> so i'm interested okay. to see how who's going to commit to what uh what what style these two players are going to kind of be using uh there's a couple different strategies for getting through a, a race like this and it's interesting to see the difference in approach uh, both of these players are very good, so I wouldn't be surprised if I see a lot of uh, player, a, a lot of them going for uh, different platforming levels. You see X Water knocking out a platforming level right there, no problem. Um, and Mitch Flower Power, you know, with his experience with 2D Mario's, he definitely could show his worth as well with some platforming levels. Yeah, definitely wants to grab that star. It's not really helping him out right now, but even in just horizontal levels, uh, something interesting about the star in Maker is it actually makes you move faster. Mm -hmm. It didn't do that in old Mario games, but it does in Maker. And it, um, on it a doesn't horizontal do it for Mario one. 1. It, it doesn't do it for Mario 1, but every other one it does, yeah. Hmm. I didn't know it didn't do it for 1. That's interesting. Ooh, X-Water dealing with a really tricky situation right now. He's got that Bowser coming up and the lava yeah, rising. <sighs> oh, yeah. Uh, I, I know it was winged, but I'm not sure if it was like a winged Meows there or just a Bowser. We'll find out when this respawn, probably. Yeah, really tough to be in just in the lava like that on a crate with fire being shot at you. And, you know, all around is just death and any wrong move there would have sunk him. No. Oh, well. <laughs> well, that was actually really easy. Okay, I just I actually had to get to the warp. <laughs> that was it. <laughs> X-Water, pretty X -Water. happy about that one. Yeah, just rock it out to the clear music. <laughs> two levels on the board for X-Water right now. Mitch trying to kind of connect with something and oh, pick up some clears in. of his own. People have been pointing out in chat that X Water is one of those players who has achieved the 10 clears in 15. Uh, did X Water just find a dev a dev door dev pipe? We're all oh, I got X Water. Ah, maybe it's not a you know maybe it's sometimes like a dev pipe, but it, it there's like a harder route to take. Right. Or it's like it's like quicker, but it's not like a free shortcut. He's trying to he's trying to maybe avoid going in that warp box because it might just kill him. Maybe this is a dev pipe. Oh jeez. Hmm. Not a dev pipe, but he did pick up the red coins he needed. Yeah, it just looks like an alternate path. It remains to be seen because sometimes the red coins are actually just for a secret bonus room or something that the maker put in. And it, you're always sort of gambling. If you can't tell for sure that you need the red coins, you're kind of guessing whether or not you actually do. Right. Very smart of X Water to look for the other end of the clear pipe. And now he's trying to. Fi oh, he's got to choose two doors here. Choosing the right one. Oh, that was no. Wrong. Uh. That's sad. And the skip. He invested a lot of time in that level, and that all just got kind of stolen from him. That's that's going to set him back a little bit. That's in, that's really yeah. unfortunate. Give an opportunity to Mitch here. <laughs> oh boy, one of these. <laughs> this looks like an easy eventually. Oh, uh, never mind. We got to find a hidden coin, a hidden block here somewhere. Oh jeez. Oh boy. <laughs> This might take a while for Max Water, but it's definitely worth it to invest in this. Yeah, it's you know. it's a it's a safe kind of bet. 
There's not a lot around that's gonna kill you. There, that was an easy find. Yeah, he, he got it. He's and provided that this isn't some kind of troll or something. No, it looked like it unlocked out the door. He's good. Yeah, X Water is pretty good. Just see a lot of these endless players that do a lot of this are pretty good at um, efficiently searching an area for a hidden block or something. They've had to do it a lot, so they got pretty efficient at it. And it doesn't. It, it sometimes doesn't take as long as you might think it would, especially if you just search efficiently. Right. Nice jump over that Bowser for Mitch, getting on the board. Okay, X Water getting uh, getting a level where he can't jump. I mean, he could jump, but this actually looks like a level yeah, that's designed for you not to not jump at all. Yeah, some some levels will have that, and then we'll make it so. Um, yeah, you can't you can jump, but then just don't land afterwards, where you just basically yeah. hopping off of enemies. This is a uh, this is a bold move for X Water trying to get through this right now. Oh, because it's tucking under that fireball. That was solid. I want to say that crouching reduces the size of your hitbox when you're small in this game. Oh, no. he! Oh, oh, the flag was right there. No, <laughs> you can right. do that. You yeah. in, in that clear condition, you can jump once. You only lose your clear condition when you touch when the you ground. Land. Yes, when you land. Really clever. Knowing the uh, knowing the uh, the meta and the knowledge there really helped X Water. Okay, at least 175. And clear for Mitch too. Got a getting minute and a one half. One coin he needed. Yeah, getting a minute and a half for for X Water. I don't I don't like that either. I would have easy skip. Mitch Flower. <laughs> Drinking out of the purple cup. Got to bleed purple over here. <laughs> stay hydrated, bot. I Yeah, I understand the stay hydrated, but flash the Twitch logo in the shirt. <laughs> okay. Platforming level for Mitch. Ooh. Mm. Uh, he might he might stay with this. It's a pretty pretty yeah thir thirty second speed run. Yeah. He should probably be able to get this in a couple of deaths. Yeah, Ooh. it's very. <laughs> It's very true. I, I've keeps I've said it before. It's the the, the speed run levels that are very quick. You know, it, it may take a, quite a bit of lives to do it because of just trial and error. But in the end, you probably aren't going to be spending as much time, and it will work out for you. If you have the skill for it, you won't lose that many lives, and you can actually make it pretty quickly. Ooh. X Water dealing with his own speed run right now, timing out right at the goal. Yeah. It's on the minimum time as well, at that 10 second mark. Yeah, some of these levels can be deceptively difficult, especially for something like this, because you think, oh, okay, it's just a speed run where you run and jump. And it turns out actually the maker intended for you to do it in a really optimized way. Yeah, I think he has to be using sliding momentum on this puzzle, on this level. That's what it looks like. Well, that's not a bad strat, skipping the uh, first slope by just jumping on top of that little star prison. Right, but the sliding... I, I really feel like the sliding momentum is what's going to give it where I'm here. We're in Mario 3, and... There's sliding in Mario 3. Where's this Mario World? I always mix them up. Oh. Oh, X-Water actually trying to avoid the slopes altogether. That's an interesting strat, because I actually don't know what the fastest base momentum is. Um, normally, I mean, it should be slope speed, but I actually haven't personally tested that. Yeah, X Water bailing on that level. He did. He did what he thought he could, and it wasn't enough. Ooh. Both of them dealing with some harder levels. Puzzle block. That's actually a cool intro for that level X Water is on to get in the car and then bail out for the wall jump. I, I kind of like that. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Oof. Oof. Yeah, that was that was just a, a mistimed input right there. He looked like he was just trying to land on top of the block and jump off it, but he was a little bit to the side, so he accidentally wall kicked himself. I like that car bailout. I really enjoy that. Cool move. Yeah, that's cool level design. And now I got some P switch jumps. Managed to grab a P switch. Probably not useful. <laughs> he needs it for the clear condition. Oh yeah, it needs to. Oh, it needs to be holding a P switch. Even... 
Okay. It's a good grab on the P-Switch, then. Mitch skipping a speedrun level. And water at five clears with five and a half minutes left. Mitch needs to watch out for his lives right here. It's uh, it's yeah. to his benefit uh, to like occasionally be maybe trying to grab some coins or grab the flagpole at the top, kill some right. enemies if he can, if it's not too far out of his way, because uh, that'll help build his life total back up a little bit. And he needs that if he doesn't want to lose that point. Mm-hmm. Oof, uh, really tricky section for Mitch right now. These upward scrolling sections where the lava chases you, really difficult, um, you know, in part because you can't necessarily see what's coming up and you're being forced to move. So really uh, good navigation for Mitch there. Unfortunate though, right into that lava. It's so, the, the, the scrolling lava is really, really tricky to deal with because you're on a you're on a really quick timer and you have to look at it, see what you have to do and do it. Uh, all in one go, and that can be really tough on your first pass. Right. Yeah, Mitch having a lot of trouble with his uh, changing lava patterns. Uh, why is there a checkpoint at the, at the end flag? <laughs> we'll never know. You know, it, it's it's a phenomenon that occurs in Maker, and it, it's, it's we'll never know. It, it's I, I've never understood. Just in case you die or something. Yeah, you know. Like, ah, it's okay. You win, actually. Okay. Bitch committing to this this vertical level. He thinks he can get right. it. It's not purely vertical, and it definitely. I mean, that it's just that one. Yeah, part. yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not necessarily meaning to correct you, just more of just like saying that like, there is more to this level, and I feel like it actually is doable. He's right, actually. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Mitch picking up that one up. He knows he needs a couple. Good. That was clutch for him. He gets the clear, and he gets three extra one ups, kind of pulling him off the edge, so he can have yeah, a little bit of a safety five. buffer for some tougher levels. That that was he needed that. Yeah, gonna bring him back up to five lives. It's gonna be good for him. At three clears to at waters, I believe six clears. So, yeah, Mitch is gonna have to really get some get some good levels or really get a move on here. Yeah, water doing some water kind of hung up in this kind of slow bouncing level. So, oh no, wait, there's the end. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> wait, hang on. Good tricky platform in there. Was able to make it through. And Mitch dealing with the prime level design of expert endless mode. Look at this. It is a chance for him to rack up some one-ups, though. The, I mean, on on the other hand, not not a not a very well-designed level, but great for a race like this because he gets some extra lives, and hopefully, it won't be too much of a challenge. Happy yeah, already easy. picked up his three, so he's gonna just be looking for the end. Easy jumps, yeah, easy clear, nice. Okay. Mitch getting some wind in oh. his sails, probably from those. And water got a P switch jumping level. And wow, that's Ooh. the end. Oh, he picked up a P-Switch. Oof. Yeah, accidentally grabs that. You want to be holding Y for momentum. Right. But at the same time, you contact the side of the switch and you uh, just pick it up. He's just going to want to be looking to really plant his feet really squarely right above those. Right. You don't want to come up from the side. Okay. That's going to be another clear on the board from for water. Uh, Mitch getting really bad luck with these scrolling lava levels. It, it forces him yeah. to slow down and stop, and that's just not what you'd be wanting to do right now. Meanwhile, X Water flying through this Thwomp speedrun. Uh, I'm under a choice with the Thwomps. <laughs> <laughs> it's do or die in Mario World.
got to really trust the maker in a level like this to, um, you know, just be reading it blind. Trust that their indicators are where they should be and, you know, that they're not going to just lead you astray. Like, you're just running by the seat of your pants and sometimes you never know the next move coming up. But you just kind of have to have that trust that, like, okay, if I just jump where this arrow says jump, something will work out and I will stay alive. Right. You just got to... In some ways, you just got to read how they make the level with the, you know, I got the springs in certain areas. It makes it very, it, it can make it clear to uh, where you need to go. And then, oh, the springs here, I'm going to turn around right now and just get like, just like little hints like that. But it looks like X-Water is going to take this one with eight seconds mm -hmm. left. Mitch really tried to put it together in this match, but got some unfortunate levels that, even though he beat them, they just forced him to be kind of slow, and uh, that kind of held him back a little bit. Yeah, Mitch actually did play fairly well there. He he managed to get through, uh, didn't game over at all, Was uh, despite getting down pretty low in lives at one point. Yeah, that was a good save. So uh, moving into match number two now, we've seen X-Water be able to clutch out some things and commit to some things that ultimately didn't work out. And we've seen Mitch committing to some levels that were slower, but ultimately did get him the win. So I'm interested to see if they're going to switch up their strats for the next match or continue on in the way that they have. Right, X Water achieving eight in that in that run, I believe it looks like nine, but he actually did complete that ninth one after the buzzer. So, not really going to be mattering too much. I know I have said, but in the past that you, yeah, I in my mind completing whatever level you're on after the buzzer is fine in my mind. Like that counts, but like it's tough to really judge that. <laughs> Because, like, in a tiebreaker situation, you'd count that level. But... Yeah. Let's see if Mitch can get some redemption here in round two. So I think both these players are going to be looking for short, uncomplicated levels, which is generally, uh, generally good, good form. X Water bringing a P switch with him. That's not a clear condition in this level, but he's kind of using it like an insurance policy for himself. Oh, uh, taking a death, unfortunately. But if if any one of those P switches were to run out uh, at an inconvenient time, he uh, might be able to just bring one and reactivate it when he needs to. Yeah, he's trying one thing to cheese it does a little do. bit as well. Yeah, he he does have a bit of a trade off in skills though, because while carrying the P switch, he can't do the air stall that he needs sometimes to get a little bit more distance on a jump. So he's he's kind of trading off a little bit of security for um, some available moves. Mitch doing a shell jump to get up here. I think, oh, this is a shell jump level. Yeah, okay, this is a that... shell jump training level as well. Right. Mitch Mitch probably excited about this. If you're confident with the Kaizo tech, you can uh, you can blast through these Kaizo trainer levels pretty easily. Right. <laughs> oh, yeah. Completely bypassing the first shell jump there. Oh, Ouch. bit too early. Yeah. Bit too early. The um the the way that you throw shells and drop items has been changed between the two versions of Mario Maker and it's been quite a challenge for a lot of players to kind of reacclimate themselves to the new timing and angles for shell jumps. Essentially, you're doing these ones way earlier um than you would in iterations past. Right. Nice clear for Mitch getting right out of there. Yeah. He knew that he knew that tech and he knew that they were just pretty simple setups. 
Oof. Oh, <laughs> water getting trolled there with the with the troll, the munchers. I keep calling them choppers, but munchers. X Water being brave, sticking with this level after it has blatantly trolled him. Mm-hmm. Because you never know what else the designer would have up their sleeves. If they trolled you once with something, chances are they might try to do it again. Right. X Water trying to keep that Yoshi when he loses it because aside from just the flutter and the boot power, Yoshi is a really valuable damage boost. Yeah, also allowing you to run on spikes. It can be pretty useful to have that so you don't have to worry about certain things. Sometimes uh, makers will design a level with Yoshi in mind, you know, making it so you have to run on some, on some munchers or something like that. Mitch dealing with this P-Switch jump level right now. Getting, getting a whole bunch of Kaizo tech. Here, uh, here in Mitch's level selections, shell yeah. jumps and now these uh, P switch jumps. He had this jump down the first couple tries, but now he's struggling with it. Yeah, there's a there's different depending on how quick you are with your inputs and the position of your character, you can actually come off those P-Switch jumps at a lot of different angles. So it's not right. enough to just get the input for the trick. You actually have to line yourself up and sort of articulate that jump in particular. <laughs> what? what are you doing here, X-Water? Trying to figure out what he wants. Maybe a power-up or an enemy that will come and bop him up there at the end. I think you have Maybe to there's... guide some of these cannonballs over there. Uh, I don't know if they would be... Yeah, it looks like they're going along the ground. I don't know if they'd be mm. enough to pop him up there. Okay, Mitch finally skipping out on the P-Switch level. Gonna be looking at a different platforming level, though. And X Water dealing with these uh, these on-off blocks is a really cool skill that I've seen players developing as they play Mario Maker. There's something off-screen, probably a shell, that is hitting the on-off switch um, and flipping the blocks on and off. But the cool thing is, yeah, you can see the cannon up there shoot the shell. But um, depending on how big the space that the shell has to bounce around in, it changes the frequency of the on-off blocks turning on and off, on, off, on, off, whatever. And being right. able to like look at a situation like that and almost immediately internalize that rhythm is like, a really cool skill that I've seen a lot of Maker 2 players develop. Um, X-Water getting a really good sense of the frequency that these switch on and off on the fly here. And it's helping him line up his jumps and get through some of these trickier sections. But it's very essential considering it can be, it seems to be such a common mechanic, you know, do you have big these on off switches. Yeah, and a lot of times the timing is different. So some levels you might see one where it goes really fast or it switches really slow or the timing changes. And being able to adapt to that immediately is um, really helpful. Mitch with yeah. another solid clear on that star run. Yeah, both getting some, uh, getting a clear here roughly the same time. We got three clears on Water's side. The two on Mitch's. And we're only about halfway through. Yeah, as far as I've seen these races, you know, it really... I would I would even say that it doesn't really turn into a lead until some racer is two levels up. Because right. it's you're always kind of wondering, like, if X Water gets hung up on a long level that he beats, meanwhile Mitch gets skips a couple but gets a short level then even though they've sort of played a different amount of levels, they're still essentially just tied up. Oh, no, this is a really oh. tough jump for Mitch. Yeah, that, <laughs> that was really a tough jump for Mitch. 
try to so, get through there. Um, that's what I'm talking about, about the frequency of those blocks turning on and off and just being able to internalize that timing. Uh, so a good strat for him there might have been to just jump in the middle of the blue blocks and get himself stuck when they turn back on and then just unstick himself during the next phase. Good clear, though. It only took him one try. Yeah, got to tie him up. Yeah, there's the tie, three and three. X Water got hung up just a just a little bit, and that gave Mitch the opportunity to pull up into the into the tie. Yeah, both players now just trying to get something something good. They have some time to work on a level. They could they they could still afford to commit to a one or a two minute level right now, but just trying to skip to find Something that'll kind of let them get a run in. Notice Mitch, too, is... Uh, oh, he's turning them off. I just noticed that. I thought maybe playing with the comments on was part of his strat. That actually could be, because occasionally people will tell you what you have to do in the comments. Or say, hey, watch out, there's a troll here or something. So, might be a, a clever way to get a little bit more information when you're playing these levels blind. It definitely could be, but I think it's also a risk of, uh, while doing that on stream. You don't know what you're gonna, uh, you don't know what you're gonna run into. <laughs> I'm actually being informed that it's technically against the rules. So, right? Yeah, good, good guy, Mitch. L lawful good, Mitch. Playing, playing by the rules here. Right. X Y are managing to get himself another clear with some quick reaction time with the thwomps going on. Mitch has a chance right now on this level to keep it really, really close. Oof, yeah. that was a that was a tough damage. I think he doesn't. Hmm, I think he probably doesn't need to get rid of this Bowser Jr. for a key, but it's gonna really help him out as he tries to do this section with the uh, ice blocks. You don't want Bowser Jr. raining the fire down. Yeah, Mitch kind of deciding just to go for it. Look at, oh man, that this level that X-Water is on right now. Holy moly, I really like this this drop here as he's falling down. The X-Water getting some cool levels. Yeah. This is, it actually looks really cool the way the Thwomps just move in that nice wave shape. Mm -hmm. Got the arrows there to help you out, so it's not too bad. Sometimes we'll put people put coins for the path, but the arrows work too. And that was the whole run. <laughs> Very happy about that one. You see, I, I like I, I like X Water. He's so happy. He just like gives that little smile. Yeah, he's always day. yeah. He's just always rocking out to the clear music every time. It's the sound of victory. Soak it up while you got the chance. Ooh, Mitch going for that superstar. Got a little distracted, and that Koopa got in his face. I think this is a uh, Super Mario World Haunted House clone. Nope, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because Nintendo totally used to do that all the time. My childhood was just filled with doors that led into spike rooms. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Good times. Nintendo, if Nintendo was made by kids. Yes. Mitch very smartly going into that subscreen and then picking up the star and just immediately leaving and going back out. And that helped him get get that Yoshi securely and make it through the rest of that level. Yeah. You want to really try to stay out of subscreens. You don't if you if you know where if you're on the main screen, you know that that's where the goal is. So like don't take a lot of optional pipes and things unless you have to because you know you're getting away from the goal when you do that. Right. Water dealing Ooh, with a yikes. variable scroll level here. Oh, oh, right at the end. Oof, just short changed that jump just a little bit.
really cool to see this mechanic being used the you know, the whole variable scroll feature where you can control how fast it goes what direction you got a lot of freedom with it i know people don't love the scrolling sometimes but when it's done correctly it can be a good level yeah, the scrolling it tends to be cool for levels that aren't meant to be played blind and it can be tough for levels that are because you're just under so much pressure the whole time and you have to, you know, you have to make that jump right now. Oh, water! Again. Man. This last Looks like he wanted, he wanted getting... to stay up above those ice blocks, and he just kind of slipped off. Yeah, the last action's really getting to him. Meanwhile, Flower Fire is going to pick up another clear. I believe that ties it. Again. Yeah, Mitch really putting the moves on in the second half here, really pulling, pulling right up alongside. And a world record. Oh no, that actually gives Mitch the lead. X Water needs this he needs this clear right now. Yeah, Gotta keep yeah. that tie going on. Alright, yeah, he's he's looking, he's really just carefully plotting his course out here. Oh no, Never he mind. didn't beat the <laughs> auto scroll. Man. Yeah, that's what really can up be, there. That can be so tough about those auto scrolls because you every moment counts you don't have time to just make a jump and then sit and size up your next leap you don't have time for that got a minute left and water gotta be ha gotta clear this in order to have a chance the short level it should be done it should be doable he should it, it is definitely a good choice to keep going for this one Yeah, with 46 seconds left, it's definitely better strats for X-Water just to stay here and try it. And he got it. He okay, did, not, he did not have time to try his luck elsewhere. We are tied, folks. So X-Water needing to get into this next level and really going to be hoping that this is something helpful for him. Because <laughs> he does not have time to swap this out for another one. Mm-hmm. And given the tie, he's kind of just got to play what he's got here. Come yeah, on, was... single jump. Oh, my gosh. I was just going to say, come on, single jump level. And here it is. <laughs> oh, my gosh. X-Water now dealing with this single jump level. Looks like Flapower is going to be able to pull out the win at the last second with that clear. And we're a one on. We're one to one. Mitch coming in clutch right at the end. He was behind at the start, but really pulled ahead towards the middle. Yeah, really nice. Really good scores on both sides, too. Seven to six. It's a good high scoring round there. So we're one to one now, Mitch and Xwater. Yeah. Mm-hmm. For the for all the marbles, 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 and yeah, and it is it's kind of a best of three. It's yeah, it's three rounds regardless. We're always gonna do three in a row. Here in this case, this third match does matter, but even if it doesn't matter, we still do a third race because it is all about the points. And whoever does pull out the win here is going to actually get uh, get themselves a an extra point because you do get a point for winning, uh, getting two matches of this three consecutive races at least. So you're going to get th yeah, you either get three points. You're, uh, you're either going to get the three points or the one point here. So. Got to be determining a lot for these players. Just starting it out. X-Water looking like he wants to try to start off with an early lead here. Just sort of committing to this first level, and it doesn't look like it's treating him that badly. He's gonna, Yeah, he's going to want to stay off that, that skull platform and any other slow-moving stuff as often as he can. If right. he has an option to jump away from that, he's probably going to try to take it. Rough situation right now. He's getting towards a Bowser. Or potential. Oh! Oh! Could have had that. Uh, he tried. He's, he's going to try that one again, too. Yeah, that looked, that looked 
very simple. He got the checkpoint. That's going to help him out a lot. Yeah, even just getting getting to that Bowser with one more damage boost to just be able to kind of fly right through it. He's got it now. So even if he takes that damage, he didn't even need it. Man, what a pro. Right. Ooh. Oh, Mitch! Getting Missing hung the up on, the, on, the, on the, the little bumpers. Those bumpers can be oh, a real hassle. It kind of, it depends. Based on where you hit it, like towards the edge or towards the middle, it can kick you off in a different direction. It can be a real hassle to deal with. Right, yeah. Nice door for Mitch to clear the level. Good stuff. Oh, X Water seeing what he has to do there, but he got mm. kicked out of that upward chamber. You always want to make them move to the right, but unfortunately, there wasn't anything there for him. Yeah, what did you say about um, internalizing on-off switch rhythms? Yep, here it is. Here it is again, only being used for wall kicks this time. Yeah, I mean, I was just saying like the whole thing about how it doesn't seem like Water's getting it. Didn't get get it right away. Now he's got it. Ooh, now an even oh, faster one. Yes. Nice job. Yeah, that's it. Good moves. Oh, good save by Flower Power. I wonder if another strat for these on-off blocks wouldn't be, instead of trying to wall jump up there, just get yourself stuck in them and just repeatedly mash the jump and just ascend one wall. Right. I wonder if that would work or not. I've never even tried it. Nice clear for X-Water, though, getting that timing down. Ooh, Mitch, thinking about that jump to the right. He was he was thinking about it, but it's so tough to tell. He got yeah, up he on top of that peak. structure. Oh, that was really close. Nearly didn't get the claw to grab him again. Ooh, okay, interesting man. Bowser fight here. Oh, it look I... like you need to defeat Bowser, but the bomb, you know, you get him out of the way for... So you can do these bombs pretty simply. And that's going to be another clear for Mitch. Nice, Mitch. Getting a one-up at the end for good measure. X-Water fighting this Bowser crane game thing right now. Yeah, Looks like he he's... wants the cranes to pick up bombs and then kind of kick them through. Yeah. People getting creative today with these Bowser fights. Liking it. Yeah, even though this level is taking X Water a little bit of time, it's uh, probably a good one to stick with because there's not that much of a threat. Right. How many bomb hits does it take to kill a Bowser? Too many. Way too many. I would think we'd just be three, but we're at like six at this point. <laughs> Yeah, it's something really silly, and if you uh, if you have a large Bowser, it takes even more hits. Right, okay, it looks like we're done with him. Yeah, well played clear from X-Water there, trying to go as fast as he could. Mitch dealing with a pretty chill platforming level right now. Mm-hmm. Three clears on water side. <laughs> Mitch, I mean, should be no stranger to boom boom fights. Mm -hmm. <laughs> nice cheese, Mitch. Just, I don't even know if that was cheese. Just going right <laughs> out that little, that little gap. 
What are sometimes you just what are people thinking sometimes? <laughs> right. And we're tied. Three to three. Yeah. Peace. Xwater should know uh, the general layout of this level that he's playing right now because this is actually one of the demo levels. When you turn on Mario Maker, right. it makes a little demo level, and this is one of them. You see this a lot in multiplayer, too. Uh, mm -hmm. So this, you should generally know the layout of this level, so I'm not surprised he's kind of committing to this clear. Yeah, I'm somewhat familiar with this one as well. A lot of the time, this has a clear condition as well, which is why he ended up going up for a second. He thought he might have had to do that, get that coin. Maybe. Oh man, nice speed run from Mitch right now. Yeah. Really making it really good flow. Time's oh, not there. having enough time though. Uh, he bonked a little bit. You always kind of wonder in a run like that, yeah, how tight is the timer? And if you bonk, do you say, okay, I'm resetting right now? Or do you kind of hope that maybe it's a little bit more lenient? There's really no way of knowing until you actually get through it. Right. A lot of the time, I don't like to take the risk because it just is like a lot. Especially the one if it says speed run on it, it it's they typically are going to be exactly the amount of time that you need. Yeah. Mitch using exactly that amount of time, getting that clear at zero on the timer. That's pretty cool. Oh, oh the guy's over. <laughs> Oh, X Water. Keep coming with these trolls. Yeah, trying to land in that door now. He's thinking that's where it's to do for the end, not this running to the end. Not gonna go for it this time. Yeah, I. I th Yep, they're all over the place. Yeah, you oh, can't man. do this. Now he might be able to. Yeah, he oh. might be able to get up. Yep, nice job. He did it. Wow. Nice job. Very good save. There, he had just enough distance to air, air twirl himself onto that lower left platform and get around that. Nice I don't job. know if I would have been able to see that. Yeah, good, good read on that situation. You know, knowing that Definitely. you're. Hey, I'm not actually dead here. Mitch dealing with a really cool Bowser Jr. fight right now. Slips yeah. into the spikes, but I, I like the way that fight is structured. Mm -hmm. Gonna keep going with it. Good positioning, too, from Mitch. He stands on the edge of those donut blocks, and he manages to drop two at once, just a little bit, um, opening that space up for himself a little bit more. Right. Oh, he's going to try to cheese this. He didn't take enough munchers out, though. So. And he's running low on time, too. This is a speedrun level. I don't know if you can... Waste enough, you know, like afford to waste the time to try to cheese it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. He can cheese it. But now he has no idea where he's landing. That's fine. Gotta pull it out. Yeah, such a risk with that. I mean, you always want to take it, but. Boy, you just have no idea where you're landing, and you say, I hope something good happens. <laughs> yeah, we're on six to five here. Five minutes left. Ooh, high scoring game, really. Both these players getting a lot of clears. Absolutely. Mitch trying to go a bit too fast here on the Thwomp level. Yeah, he should be taking it slower. He's got the time for it. See, like, he doesn't have the, it doesn't fit the, the cadence of, like, the jumps there don't fit. So he can't just keep holding right with the spin jump. It's not going to work. Yeah, some of those swamps are moving to the, the left or the right. He's got to anticipate that. He gets it. Okay, I'm going to tie it up. 
Mitch just refusing to be put down right now. Shout outs to the people in the chat who have gone from complaining that we don't have a level tracker to just doing it themselves. You're the real MVP. Yeah. Another clear for X water. Seven to six. Mitch trying to get this rhythm down. This is a harder one. Very spaced out. A lot of times it's the slower switches that make it harder. Yeah. Plus with those chain chomps bothering him on the way up there, you can't quite control what direction they're going to chomp in. So it kind of, it, it, it introduces an element of un unstability because you might just have, like, you have to make a jump at this, this particular point because of the cycle, but then at the same time, the chain chomp is in your way, so you were going to die anyway. Ooh. Mitch having a hard time with those platforms. His lines move in really strange ways, and if you've never seen a level before with a ton of platform lines like this, it can be really hard to anticipate where everything is going to be and when. Yeah, he's just got to wait out of platforms so that he can land in the door. Yeah, good thought just kind of hanging out in that one safe area. Good use of the stalls, gonna get the checkpoint. Oh, yay! Which door is it? Hopefully, hey. all of them. <laughs> it was all three. And we're tied at seven. Oh. Can't, can't land after jumping, and this is a. Oh right, the castle levels under the castle levels at night are swimming levels. I've always forgotten. Wow, that. that's actually a really cool twist on a water level that I've never seen or thought of before. Is uh, that way? Because normally in a water level you'd have to guard the ground with spikes or anything, but in this case, just put a clear condition, and then literally any surface is uh, dangerous. Right. Shouldn't be too tough for X Water here. Just kind of got to navigate carefully. Yeah, these donuts can be a problem. Ooh. Oh! Oh, he didn't have enough time. Quick timer, yeah. So we'll see if he wants to try that one again. We're tied at seven, and with less than a minute, this is gonna this is gonna count for a lot here. Yeah, the big question is now just how optimized is this swim? How how much is required right now? Because, you know, you can't... Bonking is just instant death, but there is, like, a very optimized kind of pattern he could take here. Right. And those little tiny moments of hesitation tend to add up. Because this might come down to just a second or more. Also, I noticed that it doesn't rob his clear condition if he hits the top of the bumper. The game doesn't count that as ground. Looks right. like he's got it on this one. Nice and they job. clear at the same time. Wow. Wait, they're still tied. And the t and that was before the timer ended. Did they have to do one more? That's that is wow. Frame perfect. I think they got to do one more. Okay. So both these players hoping for something right now. Okay, Mitch whoever finishes this uh... level first is going to be the winner. Ah, uh, looks like Mitch might know this level. This looks like a remake of a star. It is. This is a remake of Star Road 4? 4? 4 or 5 in vanilla SMW. The one where you go to the special zone. Yep, Mitch right. knows the route for this. He, he knows this level. 
bringing out the 2D Mario knowledge. Oh, it was called Star Road 5. Oh, well. Yeah, I'm not sure if you're allowed to skip on overtime. Let's see what the ruling is. Mitch doesn't look like he'll need skips for this one, so... Yeah. Oh, X-Water right there! Oh! Oh! oh that... Right at the end! Oh, my. That's... That, that was really sad. That's probably going to give Mitch... Probably going to give it to Mitch right now. X-Water, one Goomba away. Ooh, man. X-Water coming up on it again. Mitch loses the Yoshi, but still is alive. This might come down close. to the wire. Yeah, this is going to be close. X-Water playing it safe. Watching out for that Goombrat. Oh, he got it. No way. Okay, that's going to be the win for Water. Wow. Taking the race win and the match. Oh, and Mitch, Mitch just right seconds there there. behind. Wow, what a close race. What a recovery for X-Water. Yeah. I was I was really cool. I'm I'm really that was really nice how that ended up turning out. Both players getting a level clear to keep it tied right before the right before the timer ends, and then having to do another one. Wow, you couldn't really ask for a tighter match. Yeah. I was. That was a great match. I'm excited for what else we got in store today. GG, well played. Yeah. Being this is a pre-recorded match, we don't have any interviews, unfortunately. But we are going to have plenty of more matches coming at you. In about nine minutes up, uh, is the next going to be the next match of the day. Uh, i got to pull up the schedule to find that. Don't know if you have it in front of you. Didn't. Oh, I do not, I'm afraid. Okay, I got it up in the time we were talking, so it's fine. We got Bismuth versus Foxen coming up next. And, you know, that's... And we got all six matches today for Division B, of course. So, four more matches to go. Bismuth versus Foxen is next. See you in about, like, eight minutes. All right. See you later, everybody.